Hello, this is Aging Backwards. Hello, this is Aging Backwards with Sherry and Beverly. And today we are here to talk to you about detoxing for beginners. So I just want to share my screen real quick here with you and show you um, what we are about. So I'm Sherry. I am a culinary nutrition expert and educator at Sherry Lynn Inc. My program is a step-by-step -step method to empower exhausted, busy people who suffer from ongoing cravings and stress and want to lose weight. And my friend, Beverly. Thanks, Sherry. Hi, I am Beverly with Beverly Hills Health and Wellness Coaching. I'm a certified health coach. I've worked with clients who's lost up to 50 pounds in less than one, one year. I offer a variety of programs online, individually, and in group settings. My tagline is Step Into Dousing Health. I look forward to working with you to meet your goals of losing weight. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you. So before we get started on detoxing for beginners, we need to talk about our disclaimer. Absolutely. So, so I don't have it on the screen. I'll read through it if that's okay, Sherry. Yep. I was just going to ask you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the disclaimer represented by both Sherry and I. This information is for educational and informational purposes only and solely as a self-help tool for your own use. We're not providing medical, psychological, or nutritional therapy advice. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat any health problems or illness without consulting your own medical practitioner. Always seek the advice of your own medical practitioner and or mental health provider about your specific health situation. So for the uh, disclaimer in its entirety, we have the website link listed below. Good. So now we'll dive right into it. Detoxing for beginners. So you may feel that you need to go through a cleanse or a detox. And Beverly and I want to just go over with you what that actually means. There's all kinds of them out there on YouTube and books. And we just want to give you a little education on what to look for and some of the benefits of and what you can do on your own. So first of all, a detox strives to support your body's natural toxin eliminating process. So you can detox your, your liver, your lungs, your spleen, your kidneys, mm -hmm. those organs. A cleanse uses the supplements and pills to eliminate substances from your digestive tract, your digestive system. So one is the organs, the liver, the spleen, cleaning those out, and that's where the the words kind of get interchangeable with the cleaning yeah, they do. up. So when you talk about a cleanse versus a, a detox, sometimes people use the cleansing word interchangeably. Mm -hmm. Okay, I found that to be the case too. Um, yeah, for me, I had actually gone through a detox last month um, during the time that we're working on this presentation. We're dealing with the global pandemic. So I wanted to do a reset of my body to make sure that I was keeping my immune system high, getting rid of any toxicity in my body. So I actually went to the health food store and got some recommendations on a really good um, detox. So there were a couple of ones that they had the detox and as the cleanse like Sherry said they kind of use them in uh interchangeably and i like to do something that's a, a bit more long term so i actually lean toward the cleanse because as sherry said it, it just goes a little deeper for me and this is not to um advocate any one brand or another one but just to let you know that this is what i actually ended up choosing it's like um a 30-day program so it had capsules in there for the purging and the, the getting the toxicity out of your body um it has all of the different lands of herbs that are in there i don't know if you can see that and it's set up where you do 
one aspect in the morning and another aspect in the evening. And so it's just a lot of um, removal of things in your body that you would be carrying around as weight. So I would encourage you to look into doing this. I'd like to try to do this anyway a couple of times a year, but just based on the fact that we're going through um, a challenging period globally with our um, concern about health, I thought I would do that to reset my body. Perfect. And it said right on the box, you know, cleanses for digestive support. So, mm -hmm. and that's a good way to, you know, just ease into cleansing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And it's laid out for you. So it's, it's, it's it, there's a variety that are available, but everybody's body's a little different. And I've been doing this for many, many years. So I opted for, you know, the one month, there's some that are, you know, a couple of days, and then there's some that go several months. Right, right. Perfect. So we want to talk to you a little bit about how to get started with this. So our bodies are constantly working to clear what it doesn't need. So your body's always going to try to get these toxins out on its own. And there are some things that you can do to help your body. So one thing Beverly and I both do in the morning is drink lemon water every morning. Yes. And you can drink it throughout the day as well as along with tea. And you know, Beverly, you said you have a dispenser that has hot water and cold water. That yes. makes it easy that you can just mm -hmm. go in you know yeah it's purified water or spring water it just sits on the dispenser and i get it straight from the um machine um i would advocate having the warm water over the cold like your body has to warm the cold water up to a certain temperature so it's just best to just start off with the warm mm -hmm. water um yeah i'm gonna find it really good to kind of wake me up in the morning too i love coffee but I start with my lemon water, just the citrus part of it, just like mm -hmm. really refreshing first thing in the morning. Yeah, and, and start with the lemon water first and then have your coffee. And it's mm -hmm. going to start getting your system working and moving. And it'll wake um, everything up. <laughs> well, and the lemons help to unfilter the toxins in your body. So you can also use the lemon zest because it has the oils in there and you can use a little like a tea infuser and put them in there if you don't want to eat or drink the lemon zest. I know that um, I'm going to stop sharing this uh, Beverly so that you can <laughs> show the device you have in your yeah, hand. Yeah, letting Sherry know that I have, there's a couple that I have. There's this one which is plastic and then also have a metal one but I prefer particularly prefer this one because it has a little opening and you can drop you know your tea leaves or whatever you want to put in there to make your beverage and close it up and it strains through there's one finer side and then one that's a bit more um uh, perforated and the bonus is that there's this spring inside so when you close it up and you're using up every drop of essence mm -hmm. from your leaves this is the perfect opportunity to utilize you know and one of the things that i also enjoyed and i didn't realize i would i would be used to going to like certain stores to get my teas but then i actually visited a tea shop and that was like walking into a florist there are so many different fragrances and different types of teas and they do different things to help your body just talk mm -hmm. to somebody who works there and can give you some um guidance on what works best for you and then you can use something like this and make your own tea blend so it's much more um it has the, the oils that that sherry was talking about from the limousine they, they have a much more distinctive flavor and smell mm -hmm. so once you get started on this path you'll so enjoy it it's just not the same as the package process versions in the store but i understand that that's a good start if you haven't been used to drinking you know your teas and working with the lemon water to get you started in the mornings 
Right. When I go to the tea store, I mean, I love going in there. The girls, they actually used to be former students of mine that own the tea <laughs> store in town now. Yeah. And uh, well, their last name, their maiden name was Stock. So now they call it the Stock Market. So oh, it's nice. Very, very cute. So nice. I had gotten a little tea infuser, but mine is metal. Mine does not have that little button that yours has on. And I like that for getting everything out of the tea leaves or if you're putting in the lemon zest mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can get all the citric acid so and the oils out and squeeze it i like that idea i have to find one of those yeah i have both this is okay. my favorite though yeah so um we wanted to touch also on if you buy just a bottle of lemon juice just make sure or just just so you know that there's preservatives in there. It's yes, not the yes. same as getting a real lemon and using a real lemon. And so this is what you were talking about. Yeah, it's 100% lemon juice, but there are added preservatives. Yeah, you can see them so, down at the bottom here. Yeah. All those preservatives in there, and that's not what you want. Yeah, and we're not knocking any brands by any means. We're no, just this is not about those. those. This is just educational, learning how to read your labels. Absolutely. So, and I, I, I gave Beverly the scenario that when my mom had a caregiver, they would do the lemon juice, the bottle, and you know, it was probably easy for her in her, you know, last year, and for the caregiver to do that. But I would prefer them to use a real natural. lemon Correct. So, yeah yeah so any uh, i think we covered everything on that one yeah okay i think we're good that was the last one is just making sure that you can get you know a good lemon or lime I, i'm mm -hmm. uh, right is lime over the lemon but just make sure if you can to try to stay away from the preservative because you're trying to get to a point where you're getting these toxins out of your body. <laughs> right. So what is the best way to detox and lose weight? Eat real food that is high in fiber. Okay. Fiber provides a platform to help your body remove the waste and get it moving through your body. If you're constipated, eating high, higher fiber foods is going to help you to move that waste through your mm -hmm. your body so fruits and vegetables like grains quinoa oats wild rice um, legumes nuts, nuts and seeds fruits and vegetables so choose the best quality foods for weight loss mm -hmm. get plenty of exercise control stress we talked about cortisol before yeah. you have to lower that belly fat stress hormone yeah which is a challenge oh. for a lot of women it's <laughs> a challenge for carry a the lot world. of women um hydrate drink plenty of water mm -hmm. water 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 mm -hmm. um decrease your consumption of alcohol that's a big one because if you're drinking a lot of alcohol all the time your body your liver has to you know, deal with the alcohol before it can deal with anything else. Yeah, yes, you're perfect. constantly feeding it. Mm -hmm. So, just to clarify, now women need about 25 grams of fiber per day. Men, 30 to 38. And typically, we only get half we of get that. Enough. We're not even right. half We're not of that. Enough. Yeah. So, um, when I talk about the best quality foods, cruciferous vegetables. All that means is that they're in the cabbage category. Yeah. They're Cruciferous. Leafy. It sounds like this big, long scientific word, but it's, you know, Brussels sprouts, kale, broccoli, yeah. Leafy. Um, things to cleanse your liver and eat like 10 cups a day. Mm -hmm. And it's But 10 cups can be a lot for some people. Yeah. And so there's, there's ways to sneak around that because if you think of 10 cups, that's a lot of leafy vegetables, a lot of other substances that's on your 
um, plate that it's difficult to eat all that in one setting. So um, me personally, I love salads as a go-to. I'm really crazy about all of my greens, but to sit and eat 10 cups of that, that can be really challenging. So you mm -hmm. can actually use, you know, dehydrated versions of that. Well, and you, if you get a steamer, I bought my dad a steamer one year and because he was deep frying everything. <laughs> He'd you know, grow it in the garden and then deep fry it, bread it and deep fry it. I'm like, oh my God. So I got him a steamer. That works fantastic. Yeah. And if you steam the, the Brussels sprouts and the it broccoli the and the cauliflower, well, it brings out some of those nutrients in those vegetables you know, and then yes, helps you digest them better. And yeah. all that fiber People will help have difficulty move things. eating raw vegetables. So this is a right. way to have it with most of its nutrition still intact, but allowing you to have your body to digest it without a lot of difficulty. Right. So there's things you can do, add some olive oil, add some sea salt and, you know, enjoy the natural flavors. Mm -hmm. So, you can bake the kale with olive oil and sea salt. Oh, a couple of things I wanted to mention. Beets, they're really good. They detox yep. your liver. Mm -hmm. Add some basil to detox your blood. Ground flax seeds, add that to some yes. of your food. Yeah, I do that a lot. Colon. Um, apple cider vinegar removes yeah. heavy metals from the body and alkalizes pH balance and is good for digestion. And you so have another one my go to. There is apple oh. vinegar and we want to make sure you get the one with the mother with it the says mother, on the label this is important and mm -hmm. this is the residue that's at the bottom that's the mother that's yes you want to make sure when you purchase your apple cider vinegar because some of the lower versions less um i think more economical i guess you would say that they don't have this added um mother in that so that's what you're going to need to be able to get the best quality right and make sure you shake it up <laughs> yes definitely and you can add that to lots of things there's um i've come across recipes where they've added that to soups and different things and there's ways to get some of this stuff into your diet it's just a matter of figuring out how yeah. and what to do because there's so much information out there Mm -hmm. One of the things that I'll do from time to time is I'll take like a bottle of water and I'll put like a little capful in my water and shake it up mm -hmm. and sip on that throughout the day. Yeah. Yeah. So there's it's different also things. good for fat burning too, the apple cider vinegar. Yes. Yeah. So there's, the, there's different things that you can do. And that's what Beverly and I are trying to do is give you, giving you some information that you can then take and put into your lifestyle that is going to help you and that's what we're here for is to try to right. help you right so, absolutely and if you want even further um coaching from us we have some information later that we can share with you if you want to get in touch with us so uh, what about a juice cleanse um, I've been asked about this one before, <laughs> and I will just say, not just juice, please, mm -hmm. because if you're just doing the juice, then you're not getting the nutrients from other vegetables and fruits um, that we want you to have. Out. Yep. We and the reason I say not just juice is because if you're just juicing fruit every day, all week long you're getting a lot of natural sugar, you're raising your insulin, mm -hmm. and you're probably about 500 calories every day, which then you have a, you're kind of going into the scarcity area. Mm -hmm. So what that means is your body is going to shift, your biochemistry and your hormone balance are going to shift and your metabolism is going to slow down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but that's going to increase your cortisol, which is that belly fat Storing. hormone, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. stress hormone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's what we don't want you to do. Right. right. Um, 
So what happens is when you're eating the 500 calories a day, say, and then you go back to 1500, 1800, 2000 calories a day, now you're going to overdo it, increase, and it's called yo-yo dieting. Mm -hmm. So you've lowered your metabolism and now you went back to eating what you were doing before, you haven't accomplished anything. Yeah. You and haven't detoxed, you haven't cleansed. Very, very low. Yeah, and you're going to put on more weight than what you, what you were before you even started. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really mindful of the yo-yo dieting. Mm -hmm. um, we want you to have the fiber so, and the, and just juice doesn't have any fiber. And even if, and I know some people have argued with me that, but I have the pulp in my orange juice. It's not enough. <laughs> it still isn't enough. So we want you to make sure that you are getting all the nutrients, nutrient density foods, vitamins and minerals. Um, so like the juice alone, is like having a soda. Yeah. It yeah. has all the sugar. And it's like having a soda. So every time you have the juice, you're increasing your insulin. Yeah, we so want you to sugar up. Yeah, we want you to lower your insulin. Yeah. So. Um, so you can juice your vegetables, right? And you can also, maybe add an apple to give it a little sweetness. Mm -hmm. You know, you just don't want to have all of these vegetables without utilizing the nutrients of the vegetables like if you add a half of them you know all of the fruit then it's sort of not really working out for you in the long term if your goal is to lose weight like it's just not really good to have your blood sugar right. spiked up from that much fruit and me personally i eat mm -hmm. very minimal amount of fruit i eat like the the berries which is you know not as impactful sugar wise but, you know, some people, they just want to eat food all day long. And, you know, like I say, if you want to lose weight, you, you have to really be cognizant of how that's going to affect your body. Yeah, because if you're, if you're raising your insulin all day long, you're, it's just counter, counteractive to what you're trying to do. You're mm -hmm. sabotaging your own results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, but you're, you're thinking that what you're doing is correct. So, and I know you've had clients as well as I've had clients that they come back and they're after doing our programs and they're like, I thought I was eating healthy. Yeah. Well, yeah, but by teaching them some of the nutrient dense foods and how to eat them, they were now able to tweak their lifestyle and all of a sudden the weight starts coming off. Right. And I think that's one of the big ones that um, as I was working with my clients who just didn't understand, it's like, oh, but I'm just going to eat fruit for breakfast. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's like, OK, that's OK once you reach your goal to incorporate these. Yes. But if you're trying to get started on the weight loss path, you're going to really have to focus on eliminating sugar and that means fruit initially it's not forever but mm -hmm. these sugars are working against you you've got all this weight on and so you're trying to get the fat on your body to decrease in size and that means eliminating the sugar right right and we know that it's hard to do yeah we, know. Yeah. we get it i we get it myself <laughs> we're here to help you yes yes so and it can be done, you know, it, it's not impossible, but you know, knowledge is one of those things that helps you to understand right. like what the path looks like. And it's Absolutely. not like it's, you know, fruits. I, I have fruit in the house right now, but it's just like, I'm very cognizant. Like, okay, that's like a dessert for me. Yeah. Like blackberries and yeah, I, I agree the, um, we have those on hand, especially for my granddaughter all the time. She loves them and blueberries. Blueberries. So yeah, yeah. if, if there's something that you don't like, and I tell people, I don't like avocado. I don't like it. I, I, I tell people that all the time. I'm not even a person that'll scoop out a kiwi and eat it. If it's in something, 
I'll eat it. So if there, you know that there's a vegetable that you're not liking very much, then hide it, put it in something, you know, make, I don't make a smoothie was smoothie. Fun. That's what I was thinking. Smoothies is the best yeah. way. <laughs> oh, I know what I wanted to show. This is another way to cheat. I almost forgot this. Yeah, that's the supplement I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, this is another one. This is my cheat. Okay. So all I did was I went to the health food store and I'm like, they talk about all this green stuff. What do I have? So this <laughs> nice young man took me over to the, the green cert and I'm like, well, I don't know which one I want. Do you have samples? These yeah. are free samples that he gave me to try. So this is another way that you can cheat. If you can't eat all of these green vegetables right. one day or cruciferous vegetables, yeah. cheat. Okay. Yeah, I do that quite a bit. Um, some days it's just I feel like I need to have more greens and, mm -hmm. you know, get your bottle of water. It's dehydrated. You pour it in a bottle, shake it up and sip on it throughout right. the day. Yeah. And then, but one thing I know, you're not supposed to put it in hot water, though. Yeah, that, that I always do cold, cold. And then this is also cold. This is a, a plant-based magnesium supplement that I got from a holistic nutritionist and it's berry flavored. I put it in a shaker cup with wa ice water and that's a good drink in the afternoon too. Yes. And I get a little bit more of my plant-based nutrients and yeah. you know, we're not always on, a everyday basis gonna eat all of these vegetables right we're talking about some days it's just you know doesn't happen yeah so, life gets busy yeah we're we we're talking about real life yes <laughs> <laughs> and both of us have a lot going on always right um let me see is this yeah questions and answers what is detox water that's one so, of my favorites yeah you can add fruits and vegetables to your water strawberries have vitamin a and c and they neutralize toxins and, and you can flush them out of your body that way add cucumbers they're hydrating and anti-inflammatory that's why people cut cucumbers and put them on their eyes the right. puffiness and, the puffiness right yeah right. Yeah. So yeah there's reasons people do these things um, throw them all together in a pitcher of water, let it infuse for 45 hours for overnight, and, and then drink it throughout the day the next day. Um, yeah. Add ginger, lemon zest, mint chlorophyll um, for liver support. And here's another thing I get asked is activated charcoal. What is that? What, what, all of a sudden it's in the media and you can add it to your water. You can get little capsules. Mm -hmm. And it help it acts as a sponge in your body and pulls yeah. out toxins. Right. So that's another thing that you can do. Well, one of the things that I would uh, caution you about when you're doing the activated charcoal, you will see that during your elimination. So don't freak out because you will have black expelling of this from your body. So be cognizant of that because charcoal. Is just what it says. Yeah, that's a good point. When you use the capsules, you can get that on your hands as well. So you want to be real careful. Otherwise, you're going to have some blackness on your fingers. So, okay. Other ways to detox. Dry skin brushing. Mm -hmm. have, have you tried that before, Beverly? Yes, I used to do that a lot. And then my brush <laughs> fell apart but it was like really nice natural bristles on it and i would just do this before i took a shower and it's got so many health benefits to it right so you want to look for a brush that has natural bristles and if you're sensitive um you have skin sensitivities you can use like a exfoliating glove and you want to go towards the heart, the heart yeah. okay mm -hmm. our skin is our largest organ and our largest elimination organ so i'm gonna stop share so we can see our screen so make long sweeping, sweeping strokes, strokes towards like the like heart like yeah. to improve yeah. your circulation, circulation. Mm -hmm. okay and it also works with the flow of the lymph nodes 
And you can, when you do this, you can reduce the appearance of cellulite. Mm -hmm. So even and better. And removing the dead skin too. Right. They'll turn over. Uh, Yep, so you can do this on a daily basis, a couple days a week. You can do it before you go to bed or like Beverly said, before she hops in the shower and then clean your brush every now and then because that is dead skin cells that you right. have on there. Right. So a rebounder, a rebounder is a mini trampoline. And it's a fun way to just get up in the morning, maybe jump on the trampoline, get just everything moving get that lymphatic system um, moving to flush out toxins because it doesn't have its own pumping machine. Right. So if you can jump and get it moving, then that helps. Yeah, I have one and as I was telling you, I would get on it every morning for a couple of minutes and I would kind of do, you know, jumping jacks or arm lifts, just make it fun and interesting. And unfortunately, I have had problems throughout my life because of car accident with my back. And just one morning, I just got overly zealous and I was twisting and turning and jumping and moving. And all of a sudden I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> but I tell you, it's really great to wake you up first thing in the morning. So I've really enjoyed it. I look forward to get back on it. And like I said, it only takes like two minutes. Yeah, you can get it started in two minutes. You can do five if you have time, but all you all but you, you need can is get two the minutes. For two minutes. Don't think that yeah. oh my gosh, I need to be on this for like 10, 15 minutes. You're like two minutes right. to do the impact that you're looking for for draining. Absolutely. It it's easy. So and it you can store it easily too. Just roll it into the closet or mm -hmm. slip it on um, the bed. <laughs> right. So you can also take a bath with some lavender oils some spearmint oils, some bergamot and sweet orange oils. Um, the lavender is going to soothe your mind and body, promotes a good night's sleep if you take right. a nice lavender bath before bed. Um, the spearmint's gonna open up your sinuses, can revitalize the senses. Yeah, peppermint um, is good for that as well. Yeah, the, the bergamot and sweet orange, stress relief, rejuvenates the body. Some pink Himalayan salt, in your bath water it replenishes and recharges and epsom salt for those sore achy muscles, muscles right right so in aches and pains so yeah so if you have any questions for us just drop them in the comments and we will be sure to answer them absolutely and uh if you need any help especially with going through some of the things that we're going through in the world today just with detoxing the mind and that you know what i did yesterday was i went out on the boat on the lake and just oh it my was a great, great detox for my mind my body my soul and just yeah i was trying to catch walleye and i caught two sheep heads instead wow. so but it was fun it was fun. I caught them. We threw them back. I didn't get skunked. I like to be out on the water. I'm yeah. a water person, so. I am too, Sherry. So much so. I love yeah. that. So there's other ways to detox your body, not just with food. So like we said with yeah. the rebounder, yeah. just detox your mind. Sit and journal. Sit yeah, and nature is always good. Meditate detox from all the stress and lower the stress lower the cortisol beverly and i got you you need help yes we do. our information is right here i'm sherry lynn inc here's my instagram my facebook um get a hold of me through pms and dms and beverly want to go over your information beverly heals health and wellness coaching i have a website i also have the um downloadable ebook to help you with working out. If you're in this situation where you're unable to get to your gyms, you can do home workouts. Mm -hmm. I also have a newsletter you can sign up for that comes directly into your uh, inbox a couple times a month. And if you're ready to get started, just a initial consultation, I offer that as well. So I look forward to talking with you about your health and wellness goals along with Sherry. All right. Thanks, Beverly. I hope you enjoyed our Detox 101 for beginners. Have a great day. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.